Hi, I'm Kaylin, and today I'm going to be talking to you about immunotherapy. Immunotherapy is a type of treatment that uses the body's own immune system to fight disease. It is designed to induce, enhance, or suppress a natural immune response. In cancer treatment, immunotherapy is used to stimulate the body's own natural immune responses to more efficiently reject, attack, and destroy the malignant cells that are responsible for the disease. Currently, around the world, there are a number of immunotherapy trials taking place to treat mesothelioma. In the 1850s, doctors first noticed that if a patient's tumor became infected, it would occasionally shrink. This observation led them to believe that the body's own immune system could be harnessed and made to fight disease. They were really encouraged by the development of a smallpox vaccination. They hoped to develop a cancer vaccine and initially would inject patients' tumors with extracts from other patients' tumors. This was widely ineffective. However, the field of immunotherapy was born. Progress was slow initially. The first 100 years in the laboratory yielded very few advancements. However, in 1975, two scientists out of Cambridge developed a way to make synthetic antibodies. Their discovery, coupled with an ever-increasing understanding of the body's natural immune system, has led to a number of treatments and strategies available for mesothelioma today. The two main classes of immunotherapy treatments include active therapy, which stimulates a response that already exists in the body, and passive therapy, which supplements the body's own immune system with man-made cell proteins to help it work harder. Right now, there are a number of types of these two classes of immunotherapy in use and being researched, including monoclonal antibodies. Monoclonal antibodies are a passive therapy and the most widely used in immune therapy. Special disease-fighting man-made proteins called antibodies are manufactured in a lab and then injected into the body to help boost the body's own immune system functions cancer vaccines. For some reason, the body does not recognize cancer cells as foreign. This allows it to fly under the body's radar and grow unchecked by the immune system. Cancer vaccines work on the premise that the body can be taught to recognize and then attack these cells. This can be achieved by introducing proteins and cells unique to cancer into the body so that it can learn and recognize these responses. Nonspecific immunotherapy. Rather than target specific cells, Nonspecific immunotherapy works to boost the body's overall immune system. This is done by increasing the number of naturally occurring proteins that play a key role in the body's immune system functions. This can be administered alone or in conjunction with other therapies. To find out if immunotherapy could be used to treat your specific diagnosis, you should meet with an oncologist or a doctor specializing in immunotherapy research. If it's determined that immunotherapy could be a beneficial part of your course of treatment, it would then be administered in the form of an intravenous infusion, a series of shots done by injection, or a combination of the two. Systemic immunotherapy can be used alone, but it's most often used in conjunction with other forms of cancer treatment, including surgery, chemotherapy, or radiation. Like other cancer treatments, immunotherapy can cause some side effects soon after or during treatment. These side effects include flu-like symptoms, such as nausea, headache, fatigue, fever, chills, and increased tiredness. So far, results of immunotherapy have been favorable, and researchers are confident that this new form of medicine could offer a new line of defense in the fight against mesothelioma. This concludes our video series on immunotherapy, so if you have any questions about any of the topics we've covered, we encourage you to call us. Thanks for watching, and tune in next time.